over 600,000 direct and indirect jobs, 40% uh, reduction for homeowners in, their, in heating their homes. Uh, the level of economic activity is yielding uh, uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of $400 million to our, to our state every year. So the economic benefits are clear, and we need to be conti continue to be supportive. We've got to be serious about winning in Pennsylvania. Um, you know, other states are doing it. Even though our national economy is doing very well, there are many states that are far exceeding where we are as far as wages go and employment goes. States such as Indiana and Texas, of course, and Florida and the Carolinas. We've really got to get serious about winning in Pennsylvania, and we need a state government, governor's office that, that is completely on board with that. The, the uh, senator mentioned the geopolitical. Uh, natural gas, energy independence, is a great is, is, is national security. So uh, that's clear. Uh, if we did not have the level of energy independence that we currently have, because of largely because of natural gas, any disturbance in the Middle East, such as has occurred recently, we would have seen gasoline go to three three fifty or five dollars a gallon. Uh, would have shot up uh, uh, to eighty to ninety dollars a barrel, where it only went to you know it jumped up to about sixty two dollars or so. Uh, and then the, uh, the environmental end of natural gas. You know, it's remarkable. The United States is the only industrialized nation over the last two years that has reduced our carbon emissions, all right? And those that are part of the Paris Agreement are, are increasing on a regular basis. <laughs>